are sure to tackle the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on GTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. Ah, uh, good afternoon, Stacey. Mate, uh, honorable. Let me remember to put that cap there. <laughs> uh, it's such a pleasure to catch up with you, especially in this season where we are accustomed to interacting most every year, and that's the summer season when, uh, yep, takes in so many kids and help them out as well as helping out their parents in this time. Uh, give us a quick rundown as to, yep, in this season okay kathy well thank you as always for giving yep the time and giving myself the time to just talk about youth development and the things that we continue to do so we're in our 18th year of summer activities it's free we had hoped to have two locations this summer but the location in virgin Garda fell through because we had some difficulties with securing a location but we're happy that you know hopefully in the coming months we'll have you know an announcement of a permanent uh, facility beginning to be developed on Virgin Gara, so that's some saving grace for me right now. Um, in this location in um, uh, Fat Hogs Bay, we have over 90 children this summer. Um, that's a little low from what we're accustomed of having, but that's also a testament to the other programs that have come on stream this year and have taken several of the children. So we have intentionally not tried to push this year to have as many children as we did previously to try to allow the other programs, especially the government's programs that they've done, to be able to get some of the children so that, you know, it's um, a level of giving people opportunities that they wouldn't normally have. Um, once again, our program is free. Um, it's dominated this year again by the number of boys that we have. We go from seven and a half up to 14, 15. They've been engaged in um, technology-based programs that include um, digital drawing, editing, coding, that kind of stuff. And these are things that we've been doing for, I think, the last decade, you know, here at YEP. Um, and we're also doing painting, drawing, team building activities, horticulture, farm to table type activities, um, non-physical sports, board games, that kind of stuff, and then also basketball, volleyball, dodgeball, and we have swimming as well. We've had children that have gone out sailing for two and three weeks with partnerships that we have with Sail Caribbean, um, divers, and you know, field trips, the usual stuff. It's become staple activities for YEP during the summer. Um, and as always, safety is important, and then thereafter is the fun factor in what we do. YEP has been able to give uh, young people in the territory opportunities to work during the summer, those who have returned from college, and also those who are maybe at, the, uh, at their age in high school, their senior year, we've been able to give them opportunities to work with young people. So I'm also always very mindful and very grateful for the opportunities that we provide, not just for the children and their families, but also for those seeking employment as much as we can. I talk a little bit more about those seeking employment. So interestingly enough, um, we've had in the last two summers, we've had high schoolers who came here and worked, two in particular. Right now we have a young man, his name is um, Adonijah Glasgow. We've had Kiara Johnny. And I mentioned those two names because they've been very, very good in what they're doing. And it's very hopeful when I look at them and I realize, okay, these are students who soon, I think she is in um, ninth or 10th um, grade. And he is, I think, going into 11th or 12th. And their maturity and everything, at least what they've displayed here during the summer is phenomenal. And it just gives me hope that we have bright, and we have mature young people in our system, in our school system. And, you know, I see them being, you know, wonderful assets to our society going forward. We've also had like a few um, teachers last year, educators, who decided they wanted something different. So they reached out to us and they began working with us. And then other people in the community, young people who've returned just for summer break. And this is always a wonderful opportunity for the young people here, the children, to see that continuation where you're going from someone who you know 
who's now looking at, you know, they're in high school, they're looking at college, they're looking at working, and then someone who maybe might be away to a school in the U.S. or the U.K., and you're seeing that, you can, that's the next step for me, right? So it gives them something to look forward to, something to aspire to, and it also allows them to see, you know, that just like them, these are normal, regular people, and they've made it happen, and they're, you know, um, trying to live up, live to up to their aspirations, and they can do the same thing. Now, what is the advantage of... Uh fewer numbers of kids this year? So the advantage with fewer numbers for us always is no, it makes it much more manageable for us. You know, um, it's a little easier. We're still over the limit of what we sh should have because we're always breaking that. But it just makes it a little bit more manageable. It makes the, the um, children in terms of the numbers in the room a little smaller. We're not as cramped up because the facility is a small facility. And that's the advantage. The disadvantage to it, even though you didn't ask, is that, you know, we have to turn some people away and say to them, well, you know, we can't take you this year or maybe, you know, try this other program. And like I said earlier, when you realize YEP is free, you know, the cost of after school programs in our territory continues to go up. And, you know, there's there's seldom any assistance for parents who need that assistance in order to get their children into programs. So, you know, we'll continue to push YEP and try to see how we can get YEP expanded into other locations to try to make it more accessible for families who really need the opportunity and who want their children to have that YEP experience. Yeah, last year, I could recall we had we had it in Rotan. We were able to do, you know, Rotan and that was major. A lot of work. But it was it made a major impact. Uh, what happened this year? So we were focusing on Virgin Water, you know, doing a pop up over there with Unite BVA, who's been supporting us, and we wanted to do that over there, and it, it fell apart. So we weren't really looking at Rotong this year. When we did Rotong last year, that was spearheaded by uh, now Deputy Premier Honorable um, Lorna Smith. And that is a project that she and the Rotary Club of Totola have been looking at in terms of building a facility in Rotan. And um, we're hopeful that, you know, eventually something like that can happen. But now the board of directors has shifted their attention towards Virgin Gata because the Virgin Gata community and in particular um, Unite BVA and um, Sir Richard Branson have been more inclined to say, you know, we're going we're, we're gonna to help make this possible in Virgin Gata. And that, that speaks of, of trying to spread your wings across mm -hmm. the territory. Yes, uh, you're in the east end of Tortola, but the, the fact is you're already on Tortola. Yes. And so to have the kids on Virgin Gorda, uh, possibly even Annie Garda, because they're neighbors, they could hop over. Uh, it's, it seems to be a really good balancing act. And while we talk about balancing act, we know that you are one of the new ones in the House of Assembly. You have been elected to be one of our legislators here in the territory. Is that in any way uh, hampering your work with the YEP? So I would say no. Um, we've made some adjustments at YEP to ensure that my presence is still here. Um, I have a phenomenal staff who's been training over a number of years you know, in anticipation that if anything, you know, happened and I moved on from YEP or I decided, you know, it was time or even if God decided it was time for me to move from YEP, that YEP would still carry on. So my presence is still here. It's still felt. Um, and the the direction in which YEP has to go in terms of expansion and other things, I'm here for that because the original goal of YEP has always been to have at least eight locations in different areas within the BVI. So I am eager and happy to see Virgin Gata you know, gaining steam and hopefully we'll get there. And as you mentioned, Anigata, Just Van Dyke and other, other communities on Tortola, I would like to see the project expanded so that, you know, um, parents can, you know, be more relaxed when it comes to after school programs, out of school time programs, not just financially, but also the standard of programming that we have that's supported by the World Federation of Youth Clubs and the Boys and Girls Club of America. Um, uh, I'm excited and I'm hopeful that, you know, that can happen. So my presence is still mandated to be here for some time. I know some of the kids were like, oh, we're not going to see him. We're not going to uh, feel him physically because uh, one of the things that we hear uh, people testify about so often is that one-on-one -on -one relationship that you would have built with the kids who attend uh, this institution. Uh, are you having that time to be that big brother continuously to these, especially the young men who look forward to being with you. So I'll say this, when they need me, they know how to find me, right? And they're not, they're not shy about letting me know that, hey, you know, we haven't seen you enough or we haven't seen you with this. What I've noticed now since being an elected official is that I have more young people coming up to me. Some of them, I can honestly say, I, I don't know, but they know of me and I respect that and I, I, I like that a lot. 
So um, I think what is happening now is that God wants my presence to be felt in a larger way. Um, but where Yep is concerned, again, I go back to the fact that I do have competent staff. And Kathy, one of the things we've learned is that when you teach or you educate, right, you do it so that others can do what you do and even do it better. So um, I'm happy that those who I'm working with and those who I've worked with will also be um, doing things similar and even in their own way to what maybe I may have done building relationships with young people and having them believe in themselves and also believing in their future. Okay, having this time with you was great, but even greater would be to hear and see uh, these kids in action. So if we can just take a quick pop over, talk to a few kids uh, and get what they're feeling in this moment. Absolutely. It's their building, it's their facility. Let them tell you how they feel about their summer program and I'm sure they'll be very candid. Awesome. Thanks. Boys and girls in here, okay? Yep. And we're doing some sketch stickman stories or sketchbook diaries where they just sketch some very quick stories and have fun with it. It gives them a chance to get creative without the stress of feeling like what to draw. <laughs> So, as you can see, some of the furry stories are fortunately going to be on TV, but let's go! I love... What's that? No, these are just, these are just quick um, sketches, really. Just take man stories for them to just get it out. Well, Nothing this is, tell me about your story. <laughs> so, my story is about um, Betty. She likes zucchinis. So, oh. she hasn't eaten in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> and she was screaming them. <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, obviously you're having fun doing it, right? So she decided. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch to our next story. Yeah. I think. Um, Who's that? 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 Who's Eating cereal and they have Zampato in the corner. <laughs> Zampato? Oh, you get a name Zampato. What is the name from? From, from Bleach. Oh, I, I need to get in tune with the times and what you did. Please, a dog is asking for help. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh God. Okay, a person home, right? There's a little person home. I didn't name him yet. Mm -hmm. He eating a Z-Dog and then he house start falling off the cliff into what? the water why right there. Why is the name of Z-Dog? Why is the name of Z-Dog? I just change it from hot dog to Z-Dog. Z-Dog? <laughs> why? Mm -hmm. Now because we are doing how the game goes, you choose a letter and you choose a team and we do everything by that letter or by that team. Oh. So if we choose Z, which is what we choose last time, they have to make up anything our real um, vegetable or anything with the letter Z. So he had zero <laughs> and she had a Z dog. <laughs> and that's why it's so funny and they're laughing. Oh, okay. they're so you guys are having fun though this summer. Yes. Yes. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> what you guys are doing today? Uh, they just finished painting, so we're doing um, Target. We're doing some we're shooting oh. targets. Okay. So who's going to shoot? I want Michael. to see. Michael? Because I keep this for you. Keep this for you. Miss? Woo! Nice. Okay, awesome. <laughs> you want to tell me a little bit uh, about how, how things were this year for some program and the kids? Actually, summer program was pretty good. We had a heavier influx in July, but August it kind of tapered off. But they got the experience to do painting, computer, sports, kitchen. So it was it's pretty good. What stands out more to you this year? Uh, this is my first year. I just started in July. So for me is how different each child is and how much they, you, they have like hidden talents, that, things that they disregard. And then when you put them to do something and it just like blossoms, so that, that for sure. So why you decided to join the team? Because I've always wanted to have the opportunity to work with the next generation to see where they can go. You know, it's, um, being on a small island, we tend to see talents blossom and then it dies down. So I wanted to be able to help foster them into the next 
generation you know to make them just know that you don't have to just do this one thing there's so much more things you can do and yep gives them the opportunity to do that awesome thank you <laughs> so tell me about what you've been doing this year yet i've been playing a lot of basketball uh -huh. anything and else okay you met any new friends a lot a lot of new friends okay awesome how about you you shy <laughs> How about you? Tell me. You met new friends? Yes. What did you like most about what you did this time? Cooking. Oh, you did some cooking. What you cook? We cook we cook apple pie with from Abby Boy. He decided to give it to another group because we wasn't behaving ourselves. Okay, alright, awesome. Okay. What fun going on in this room today? Yeah? Okay, so you guys are really enjoying yep this for the summer? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. What do you enjoy most? The activities. Like what? <laughs> like dodgeball, volleyball, painting, making art and them kind of stuff. Okay, what did you enjoy most? Um um how learning how to type. Uh, dodgeball, the activities, dodgeball, the cooking, the cooking. Um, volleyball, okay. basketball, and archery. Okay. What did you like most? Basketball. That's all you love? And what? volleyball. Okay. And what are you making right now? A uh, rocket. Okay. Who else want to tell me what they enjoyed this year? My uh, friend over here. Huh? Like, uh, I want to start to ride bikes. So I want to be like, I want to like, how I have fun with that. Uh -huh. I like, Activities in here. It's a nice room. Uh -huh. That room. And the kitchen sometimes when go cook. Alright. <laughs> Tell me, I want to hear from you. What do you um, enjoy? Food, food for young. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just like to have fun. Huh? I just like to have fun and laugh. You just like to have fun yeah. and laugh. Yes. 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 How about you? What I like to do? Mm -hmm. I love everything. You love everything. Oh, okay. You made new friends this year? Yes. Oh. Well, most of them is all my friends from before. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. You guys continue to have fun, okay? Okay. All right. Tell me about the feel of Yep this year for you. Um, our summer program, Kathy. Okay. Um, our summer program is, I think we had about an enrollment of, if memory serves, between 80 to 90 children. We normally have a waiting list of 150 children. So this year um, has been a little bit lower, but that's because children travel all the time around the summer. So I find that a lot of children do like to come to YEP. Um, the parents, by I would think Easter, are calling, WhatsApping, texting, trying to get their children in. So obviously it shows we're doing an awesome thing. And of course, providing free, a free summer program for two months is always an awesome thing. I've been working with YEP for the summer. It's like a summer job. And to be honest, it's been good. Okay. Why like, did you start working this up job here? I just want to try something new. Okay. Were you uh, a student of YEP prior to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like years ago. Though. Years ago. Okay. So how you find the process now? How you find it now? Interacting and uh, working along with these kids. I thought, I thought it would have been a little challenging, but because like, I basically the same age as some, but. No, they're respectful and they just listen. Some of these, these kids are seeing you as a role model now? Yeah. yeah. I, I would think so. Okay, so. Will you be coming back next year? Yeah, most likely. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. 
where your money goes and what your dollars and power are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well. Hi, I'm Cowboy, and I'm running for stake pre no, no, presidents of stake. Thank you. And I will meet your needs. Some bathrooms are so expensive to build, they come with security. But at Staycation Butchers, our meats are affordable. People always ask me, Cowboy, where does your salmon come from? Well, our salmon comes from the water. A vote for Cowboy is a vote for quality, integrity, and consistency. So come into Staycation Butchers and cast your vote for me, your next president of steak. Alexandra Durant approves this message. No, I don't. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to sell Plus.